While as mice has for a long time been a big no-no for gaming because of the worst performance when it comes down to milliseconds, the wireless technology has for a long time been known for not being the gamer's first go-to, while as in the past often meant higher weight, worse sensor, lags, jitter and even delays, simply put, unacceptable for gamers, the technology wasn't really there yet. It wasn't until Logitech released the G900 Chaos Spectrum that everything took a turn for the better. The G900 showed us what wireless was capable of. Since then, many companies have tried their wireless concept as well with varying results. Today guys we're gonna take a look at Logitech's latest mouse called the G305 Lightspeed packed with the latest technology available hopefully making this the best budget wireless gaming mouse to this day. Let's get started. Hey, how is it going guys? Robin here on Chips Media bringing you the best tips and tools for gaming on this channel. You'll find PC components, tech gadgets and console accessories as well as a product review such as this one. So if you're interested in that, consider subscribing. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the G305. With that said, let's get started. All right, so this mouse is completely wireless and it doesn't work without the included receiver. There's no cords whatsoever to plug in even if you wanted to actually there is one cord included in the box but that is just a simple extender if you're worried signals might be blocking you in case where you let's say have the receiver plugged in on the back of your case now what makes the g305 shine the most is probably the battery life because according to logitech it should last you 250 hours of continuous gaming before you need to change the battery or 9 months if you decide to put it in the slower lower energy mode that is just bonkers now under the shroud you find the battery in question it's just a simple AA battery and it was included in the box now much of this is possible due to the new sensor called Hero, which we're gonna touch on a lot more in a second but let's start with the specs shall we now it measures in at 117 times 62 times 38 millimeters or 2.45 times 1.5 times 4.6 inches with the battery installed we get a total weight of under the magic 100 gram mark which is super impressive we got six buttons in total which are using armor switches and yeah the hero sensor which has a sensitivity that operates from 100 all the way up to a maximum dpi of 12,000 in terms of refresh rate and pulling rate we're looking at a maximum of thousand hertz or one millisecond which is standard among gaming mice and should be more than enough for even the competitors out there now since the release of chaos spectrum logitech has been the flagship brand among wireless mice the g305 is what you might be able to guess based on the g pro model now because of the shape you might think that it works as good for lefties as well as for the right-handed users and while that might be true there's only buttons on one side of the mouse now the side buttons or thumb buttons in question are made of blank plastic but it doesn't make them feel slippery since they're so thin so this never was a problem for me they have a tactile clicky feeling to them not very hard to press and they don't feel mushy at all and i really dig them now on the top of the mouse we find the rubber scroll wheel right above it we find the dpi profile button that with a single press you cycle through the five pre-programmed dpi profiles each profile has their own distinct color which lights up with a small light for a moment of time whenever you press the button a flip in the mouse 180 degrees we find four skids a power switch as well as the uh, hero sensor that logitech put together with another unknown company they wanted to make a mouse with the same similar performance to the pixart 3366 but to a tenth of the energy consumption now what makes the sensor so good according to logitech goes all the way back to the dual lenses to the communication to the microcontroller that the mouse can be set into modes we got high and we got low 
Hi gives you a response time of that one millisecond and the lower setting leaves you with 8 milliseconds and yeah you guessed it right putting it in the lower mode should leave you with lasting power for 9 months still I'm super impressed by this now putting it side by side with the G602 Protheus Spectrum and the Razer Death Adichroma it becomes clear that the G305 is the smallest in this trio and it can to some degree cause trouble for users with bigger hands now I am using a palm grip I have fairly normal sized hands I'd say and it fits me perfectly fine but just a heads up if you have bigger hands definitely visit a local store and give it a try before making that order Now let's talk about the receiver, the nano receiver is what you would expect, same as with the G900 and there is actually a place inside the mouse where you can store it so that you don't lose it when traveling, very very clever, but keep in mind guys I had... I had a ton of trouble getting this out, yeah, you gotta have that in mind as well, unless you got some magic fingers, I don't know. Now with Logitech latest gaming software you can download from Logitech's site, you can customize a few things here, inside you can set things like sensitivity, as well as play around with the DPI for each profile, as well as set what each button should do under advanced you find the low versus high high should obviously be selected when gaming but if you're not gonna game on the g305 mainly setting it to low now and then will increase the battery life tremendously you can choose to save the settings either in the software or on the onboard memory there's also this option of record buttons by pressing it etc but since i'm not using this feature we're gonna leave it as it is but it is possible if you're one of those using that feature now it's time to give this mouse a go in games i've been gaming a ton of fortnite csgo rocket league arc and gta 5 as well as some overwatch as well now in terms of jitter and angle snapping characteristics you don't want to see in a gaming mouse i'm happy to say that this mouse lacks both of that i have been playing a ton with the g602 protheus spectrum as well who uses a similar sensor i can cannot feel any difference between these two. Now from the smallest to the biggest adjustment, they feel completely on point. Now in terms of liftoff, I'd say you got around the height of a CD and there's no way to adjust this if you were wondering. Now what the hell do I think about it? Well, I'm completely in love. Wireless have come a long way in the recent years and thanks to the Hero Sensor, even if you game, let's say, 6 hours a day and it would last you a total of 62 days in total if you would just game on it. Now if you on the other hand doesn't need the fast millisecond response, you can make it last for a whopping nine months now what impressed me the most isn't just the sensor it's the complete package logitech is asking 59.99 us dollars which is nuts to me if you're looking for a high performance budget gaming mouse and you're willing to finally cut the cord the g305 is the answer now guys i want to know what your thoughts on wireless gaming mice and have you tried wireless mice recently now until next time guys have an awesome day right bye Bye.